What's good, you guys? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I want to talk about the number one mistake artists can make. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. The number one mistake I see artists make or that I know for a fact that a lot of artists make is comparing themselves to other artists. I get a lot of comments, a lot of people DMing me like, bro, I wish I could draw exactly like you. I wish I could be just like you. But if you truly think about that, if everybody was drawing the exact same, same skill level, same ideas, and you just walk outside and everybody got their picture posted. It'll be the same exact picture. So one thing about it, you have to figure out how to be inspired by others without letting that inspiration alter your thoughts and your ideas. Because when we all have something different to show, that's what makes us great. You know what I'm saying? So figure out how to be inspired by other artists, but let that inspiration inspire you to be you. You know what I'm saying? Bring out the best you. Um, show the world what you like to, to draw in. Show them your art style because that's how you're going to stand out as an artist. If you ever just do your research on all the famous artists, one thing that they have in common is they don't have nothing in common. <laughs> that's that's the one thing that they all have in common. So if you invite all these famous artists to an art show, everyone will have something different to bring to the table. So a person that know how to fully express themselves without caring about what anybody going to think about me expressing myself through my work. You know what I'm saying? A person that's not thinking about, I'm trying to, when you see my picture, I'm trying to make sure you like it, you like it, you like it. No, it's not for that. Art to its core is figuring out a way that you can release everything you feel in your work. You know what I'm saying? Constantly on a consistent basis to a point where everybody see your work and it's so unique that they know for a fact they can't get this anywhere else but through you. You know what I'm saying? So I had to figure that out the hard way because I know when I first started, like really like getting deeper into art, I just thought because I can draw anybody art style that I was a great artist. So if I see an artist I like, I'd be like, okay, I'm finna go redraw that. I'm finna go redraw that. But I wasn't being an artist, I was being a copy machine. You know what I'm saying? So basically, just say if Basquiat is my favorite artist. So every painting you see is identical to Basquiat. That's pretty much putting myself in a, a situation where if I ever die and somebody find my art, they're not gonna associate it with me. They're gonna associate it with Oh, this look exactly like Basquiat. So that never helped my legacy. It just helped him. Because when you're copying or you're trying to be like somebody that you admire, you're just bringing more awareness to their name, their brand. But you as an artist, you should feel like, I have something special to bring to the table. God made me different for a reason. And I'm finna to embrace me being different and share my difference with the world so we can have new inspiration. You need to be that new inspiration. And the only way you can be that new inspiration if you truly, fully embrace what makes you different and stop being your worst enemy. Don't think... Oh man, my art is weird. Won't nobody understand it. I don't like it. It's not that a man bump all that, bro. You have to like it. You have to know why you doing this. You have to appreciate you for you. And it is showing your work because 
Art is just expressing yourself to the highest level possible. And the only way you can express yourself is if you stop trying to make it seem like expressing yourself supposed to look like a certain thing when it don't. Expressing yourself is just fully being you to the core. What's ever going on up here, you translate it and you put it on paper, canvas, your digital tablet, and you share it with the world. And if anybody see it and they don't understand it, that give you an opportunity to let them into your world because you get to explain your art then. You be like, man, you know what? When I was painting this picture, I was thinking of da-da-da and da-da-da-da-da. And it'll make you interesting as a as an artist. And that's pretty much what being an artist is, is when people looking at your work and they're intrigued and they want to know more about the artist. So I'm telling you, man, the biggest, the biggest downfall artists make is trying to be like something they're not and not fully embracing being themselves. So the message I want to give to you guys is be yourself. Constantly be yourself, embrace you, love who you are, and share that in your work because God made you you for a reason. If he wanted us all to be the same, we'll be like that old Eminem video, the I'm Slim Shady. With a real Slim Shady, please stand up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. I will have some more videos for you guys. And if you want me to drop more like this, giving you guys a, some thoughts and my opinions and some advice, just let me know in the comment section below. And I will keep them coming. Love you guys.